What's that you say? Roo and who? Hey, we're here. It is Wednesday, which means it's Roo and Who Day. And we have some foreigners as our who today. And um, yeah, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Oh, I'm Sarah. I'm Jane, and together we are the Rokjo Anu Savar. Now, what is Anu Savar? I mean, from Jane and Sarah, how do you get Anu Savar? Well, it started out as a solo project. Um, it's kind of cryptic. Uh, my middle name is Anita, um, and my great grandma, her name was Grace, which Anita means Grace, um, and so Anu is actually. Oh, I'm um, part Latvian Estonian. Um, I'm Australian, Australian Estonian. I don't know, weird hybrid mix. Um, but we, Anu is like um, Latvian for grace. So that's what the first part came from. And then Sava is after a Serbian saint who um, was uh, kind of hailed as the star of literature in Serb Serbia. And I kind of came from a writing background. But we're actually looking now because Jane became part of the project probably only like three months ago because it was a solo thing um, at renaming to Lady Shark. Lady Shark? Yeah, like Lady so Shark. So you put a lot of thought into that name. I like, did. I feel like, oh my God, you need like a trilogy or something. I know, right? I just wow. on Game of Thrones. So it sounds you know. about right. <laughs> so, and Jane, you came from... Um, I'm originally from the UK. Okay. Um, I've been living up in Vermont for seven years until the summer when I moved down to Nashville. Um, met Sarah because we were both uh, volunteer instructors at the Southern Girls Club. Well, what instructors? Volunteer instructors. Volunteer instructors? Yes. So um, that means none of this? <laughs> <laughs> it means none of that, but um, quite a lot of free food and granola. Oh, well, it is National Granola Day, yes. and you guys will definitely get to have some granola later. But, um, and you, you moved to Nashville, how cool is that? Yeah, it's been great so far. Um, so yeah, Sarah was teaching recording and I was teaching drums. And she nice. asked if I would, would play with, with her. So, so Sarah, how long have you been in Nashville? Um, I've been there about three and a half years. Wow, yeah. did you go straight from Australia to Nashville? Yeah, apparently. It's, it's quite, apparently? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, apparently? No, I did. Did, did you go for a visit and you ended up staying? Uh, no, no. Um, I actually went there part because like, my family's doing a sort of business there, so I came to know oh. about it. And I have to, like, I'm a musician as well, so I'm like, sweet, cool, it, it's good. Yeah. It's a good scene, and it's like good living conditions. Yeah, so do you different. watch the television show Nashville ever? Is there oh, anything like that? I have. Is Nashville all over Nashville? Yeah, it is like. Is it big, like really popular there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Well, I've seen calls for extras, but you have to be there. So did you see Raina's show? Or, like, what did you, I, what, what extra work did you do? I guess <laughs> that guy rock star, the new one? Um, I've been on a few episodes. Oh, <laughs> my other daughter would be crazy, half excited, jealous. And they keep on typecasting me as an enthusiastic drunk. At <laughs> oh, how cool is that <laughs> show? Shows the day or the night time. So, um, some Deacon shows, some Julia Oh, we shows. love Deacon. Oh, um, my God. I'm good at pantomiming enthusiasm. I'm going to have to look for me. you. Are you in some of the up and coming episodes? Uh, no, all the ones I've been at Edge. You can sometimes see my arm occasionally. Oh, how nice. exciting. <laughs> wow. So, it's Deacon really nice. In real life. Yes, yes, he the, seems like he's such a nice guy. Wow, <laughs> you've been on Nashville. How come you haven't? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I guess <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not as cool as Jane. Like she's pretty hip and happening. She has a connection. So, like, oh, yeah, she's been there for what three months, and you've yeah. been there for three years. Know, and yeah. Wow, well, yeah, look at that. <laughs> the truth is that I have a freelancer schedule. <laughs> there you go. Well, today happens to be January twentieth. And um, we're so happy that you're here. So what are you called now? Are you on a on this solo or the other we're, one? Lady are, Shock. We are too. How should we, well, what should we call you on the credits? Lady Shock. Lady Shock. Yeah. Cha name change. Yeah. Is that that hard? Yeah. Yeah. They are yeah. Lady Shock now. No Lady more. Shock. All right. I'm in shock of you ladies. <laughs> and it is, as I said, so today's the 20th. It's National Granola Day. 
It's National um, Coffee Break Day. So we also have little coffee candies for our guests today. But what else happened on this day? 120, as you know, is the inauguration day. So one year from today, we will be inaugurating whoever this circus picks as the president of our country. One year from today is when it all changes. And um, this is the day that Barack Obama was inaugurated two times in the White House. Um, in, in 2012 on this day, this is so messed up, 2,000 Malawi women protest against attacks on women wearing trousers by unemployed youths and street vendors in, in Malawi. Um, for wearing trousers. You both, uh, no, you're in a skirt. Uh, but trousers, can you imagine? You, you were, you're not allowed to wear trousers. I went to boarding school for a very short time. We were not allowed to wear trousers at dinner. Can you believe it? I know. For Halloween, I did. I wore blue jeans because it was the one day you were allowed to dress up. Um, George Bush was inaugurated on this day. Too many people were inaugurated on this day in the, in the past. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, check this one out. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted on this day the Mamas and the Papas and the Eagles in 1998. So, Glenn Fry, you're an eagle. And gosh, how did we, I guess I just think Bowie is up there telling people like, or Lenny is up there saying like, just forget it. Come here. It's better. It's like every third you're just telling people like, don't waste your time. So now Glenn Fry is with them and they're hanging out. Uh, uh, a female figure skating champion was won by Michelle Kwan on this day. I, she was, she's always a nice little skater. It was the first federal holiday ever honoring Martin Luther King. King Jr. in 1986, uh, January 20th was the first Martin Luther King Day. Ronald Reagan was inaugurated on this day. Jimmy Carter on this day announced the boycott of the Olympics in Moscow. I, I actually was in London during that time and I was able to watch it, but I know um, people here couldn't, but I know, gosh, were you born yet, 1985? <laughs> you were not till the last day, Harold. Oh, you're New Year's Eve. Oh wow! Wow, look at that. We know someone who has a New Year's Eve birthday. Wow. So what'd you do this year? I went to bed at nine thirty. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> it was um the first year for ages I hadn't had a gig, and it was it was quite nice. nice oh <laughs> yeah, I had a gig. It was a fun New Year's. What about you? Um, I smoked too much. Uh, something and then um, I couldn't really bear being around people, so I went home and ate smoked cheese. <laughs> and made in bed. Well, I think you could have a little granola for that. Would you like? Would you like to have some granola on granola day? <laughs> All right, that, that's a start. Wow. It's also the day in history that John Lennon meets Yoko Ono's parents in Japan on this day, January twentieth. Richard Nixon was inaugurated on this day. Peggy Fleming won also figure skating on this day. So I wonder if they're doing figure skating today because it seems like it's a day of skating. The Beatles appeared on Shindig on this day, which is an ABC television show. I don't know if anyone remembers Shindig, but you could probably uh, YouTube it. Birds record Mr. Tambourine Man on this day. That was a good song. Meet the Beatles album was released in the U.S. on this day. Robert Frost recites Gift Outright at John F. Kennedy's inauguration. So, if you know, 120, it is an inauguration day. Buddy Holly recorded the Blues, Blue Days Black Night in Nashville on this day, January 20th. Do you know where that happened in Nashville? I don't. You're going to have to look it up. The first live coast-to-coast -coast inauguration on television with Eisenhower was on this day. This is weird. J. Edgar Hoover, on this day, January 20th, gave Shirley Temple a tear gas fountain pen. It's a memorable Like, gift. why did he, <laughs> why were they, did he want to borrow a dress? I, that's the only <laughs> thing I can think of. He wanted one of her dresses. His, she had the best dresses. Do you, do you know who Shirley Temple is? I hope so. Do you? 
Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Who was she? She's a star. Like what kind of star? S T A L. You don't know who she is. She can do the rumble. She can do the split. She can do anything. Just like this. Did you have that one? No. Is that a Shirley Temple song? Yeah, it's like Shirley Temple is a star. S T. Really? Were you a a cheerleader? Is that what they do in Australia? Yeah, we used to play those games. You know who Shirley Temple was? She's like a little performer. Yes, very yeah. good, Sarah. Yes, good girl. That's all they Did you ever see her movies? Did you ever see them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you know she had those cute little curly dresses, right? Yeah, the curly hair. Like, yeah, all right. Yeah. She's got it down. It's yeah. not just a drink. I, I, yeah, I'm not making it up. And I'm not an alien, so. Well, you are. But. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know how they call that aliens. Natural clones. Yeah, isn't that weird that, that you are considered aliens? Um, yeah, I have an alien number. Yeah, you mean St <laughs> Sting saying about it, right? Franklin D. Roosevelt was sworn in for an unprecedented fourth term as president on this day. This I thought was interesting. It was negative 45 degrees Fahrenheit in Boca, California. It was a record-breaking cold day in 1937. So, just to let you know, weather has always been a strange topic. That's why everyone says, like, how's the weather? Like, the weather is always a big deal, but we've had weird weather in the past. And it was the first basketball game ever played in Massachusetts on this date in 1892. Wow. Go basketball. Birthdays. It's Melissa Rivers' birthday today. Little Joan Rivers' daughter. Aww. Yeah, but she's not so little. She just played her mother in a movie. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> she, 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 she looked good. I only saw like a clip, but she played a good Joan Rivers, I swear. It's Bill Maher's birthday. Oh, I love him. Do you know who he is? Politically incorrect? But you don't know who he is, Bill Maher. I don't. I'm sorry. Oh, you girls, you girls, you gotta get your American on. Even though he might be Canadian, like everybody is Canadian anyway, right? Paul Stanley, you know who he is? Oh my no, God, sorry. girls! Did you ever hear of the band Kiss? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Paul Stanley is the singer of Kiss. Yes. Ian Hill. He was uh, in a band called Judas Priest. Ever hear of them? Breaking the law. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good for you. Joe Doherty from Ireland, the IRA activist who was jailed in the U.S. Do you know who he is? Yeah. You do? Yeah. What was he jailed for? I'm not too sure. I, I only know my name. Don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to do at least from your neck of the woods, though. Ivana <laughs> Trump. It's Ivana's birthday today. That lucky lady to get away from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, she's probably celebrating big time. Malcolm McLaren's birthday is today. God save the queen, yes. Um, George Grantham from Poco. David Lynch's birthday is today. I love him. Yes. Oh, so you know who he is. And Big Spingo is today, too. Ah. On his birthday. Wow. And Eric Stewart, the rock guitarist from 10CC. I'm not in love. Slim Whitman, oh my God, he was the classic yodeler, of, and he he wrote Home on the Range, but I don't, I can't imagine he really wrote that, because, but it says Home on the Range, maybe he just did a country version of Home on the Range. With yodeling. Yeah, yodeling. Slim Whitman, the only way he became famous, he, there was a TV commercial of like, buy this record from Slim Whitman, that's how, I mean, he got famous from that. I know. Artie Johnson, I'm sure you don't know who he is, but he was on a television show called Laughing, which was way before your time, but Richard Nixon was actually on it. Patricia Neal, um, she's from Kentucky and she was an actress. Federico Fellini, ever hear of Fellini movies? No. I haven't, haven't seen them. Okay, well they're, they're pretty crazy. He was like the original abstract crazy filmmaker. Uh, George Burns, his birthday is today. He played God, and George Burns was a great comedian. Angels, we also celebrate people who passed away on this day. Al Hirschfeld, oh my God, he was one of the best artists ever. Um, he always would put his daughter's Nina's name in his drawings. He drew everything, and every Sunday in the New York Times, 
there would be a drawing from her child. They're all over, like the theater district. And you could count the Ninas. I used to count them with my father. He put a little number, and that's how many Ninas would be hidden in the, in the drawing. Susan Strasberg, she was the original Annie in Broad Anne in the Broadway's Diary of Anne Frank. I was going to say it's, it's uh, cheese, but not quite. Charlesburg? Strasburg. Strasburg. Well, it is actually cheese. It's actually National um, Cheese Day, too. Really? But I didn't bring cheese. Yeah, so maybe that was what it is. Yeah. Edith Hazeman, I don't know if you know who she is. She was the oldest survivor of the Titanic. She died at 100 years old on January 20th. Vladimir Yam Yamanenkov was the owner of Crystal Vodka, and he died of cirrhosis of the liver of, at 56 years old. So you think there's a correlation there? I'd say because I think he liked his product a little too much. Oh, that's that me. I know. That's kind of sad that he died of uh, cirrhosis, but he did invent Crystal Vodka, so... It's not, right? I know. Drink this, and guess what? Barbara Stanwyck, she uh, was a very famous actress. Features Lily, another one from Thoroughly Modern Millie. Johnny Woosmiller, you know who he was? He was the U.S. swimmer that won five gold medals, and he's the original Tarzan. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that wakes you up. And Carl Switzer, this is so sad. I want to dedicate our whole show to Carl Switzer. And Malcolm McLaren, of course. But he was Alpha Alpha. Um, did you ever see The Little Rascals? Oh my God, girls. The Little Rascals? The Little Rascals? That movie with the kids in it. Well, that was a modern one, but oh. it came from an old, 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 old show, The Little Rascals. Okay, Dola, with Spanky. Okay, Dola, okay, Dola, okay, yeah, Spanky and Darla. But Alpha Alpha was the one that had his hair sticking yeah. up. But the real Alpha Alpha was shot to death. Yeah, it's tragic. It's tragic. He was shot to death, and he was, um, oh, my God. I should love modern day. At 31 years old. And he was, like, a really big star. Carl Switzer. So this goes for you. And um, are you guys ready to hear these Lady Shock play us a song? Yeah. You want to play? What's your yeah. website? Uh, currently, it's annesavar.com, but... We will be putting up uh, LadySharkBand. Oh, LadySharkBands.com will be up shortly, and we hope um, we've got a new album coming out. So uh, we hope to like launch that through there and stuff. All right. Well, we'll yeah. find out. Your guys are the who today, so we're gonna yes. find out more and more about you as the show goes on. So we're gonna take a quick break, and they're gonna play for us. So give it up for Lady Shark. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's that?